Now, I know for a fact I mentioned flying cars in one of the previous High Gear News episodes, and I did not in my wildest dreams believe I would see anything near a flying car in my lifetime. But ladies and gentlemen, that day has come because a company called The Left Aeronautics was just granted legal permission for takeoff with the first flying car. The Left Aeronautics, who are they? Well, in October of 2015, two major things happened. One, Marty McFly went back to the future, and two, four founders decided to form a company to build a flying car. Those four founders are Dr. Konstantin Kisly, Pavel Markin, Oleg Petrov, and Jim Dukovny. And just like any good story, the first rendering of the flying car was drawn on a paper napkin in a cafe. From the beginning, they knew that the car needed to drive on the streets, have vertical takeoff, and be affordable for most people. They built a prototype in 2016 with a full-size propulsion system that was used in a demonstration for Tim Draper, who became a pioneering investor. Now, one of the biggest hurdles was per proof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I, was struck. I peaked already. All right, you're good. You're good. One of the biggest hurdles was proving the vehicle would be efficient in forward flight. And after this was accomplished, they received more funds, which sent the company on a full speed ahead focus. And they were able to grow their team even more, adding more engineers, more investors, and spanning the United States, Europe, and Asia. In 2018, a full-size skeleton was flown, and in 2019, a full-size prototype was flown. In 2021, they wanted to start doubling down on design, and they were able to recruit a famous former exterior and interior designer from Bugatti and Jaguar. The company officially rebranded to the name Aleph and launched its public website in 2022. On June 30th, 2023, USA Today announced the first flying car was cleared for takeoff. The flying car is called the Model A and was granted legal permission from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, to test from the vehicle on the road and the sky. Since it is a car, it does need to meet national highway and traffic safety standards before taking to the skies. The company CEO mentioned the historical significance cannot be overstated. This is the time a vehicle in the traditional sense has received permission to fly. It's also the first electric car to receive permission to fly. And last but not least, vertical takeoff is central to most people's conception of a flying car, and it does just that. Pretty cool little story, right? Wait, it's actually interesting. Let's talk about the Model A, though, okay? It is available for pre-order for the low, 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 low price of $300,000. God damn! <laughs> Three! Bro, that's... That's a house. <laughs> that's, a that's, that's actually a house. That's a mortgage. That's that's a mortgage. But let's jump back to the Model A. Fully electric and is a slow speed vehicle. Many, it'll only go about 25 miles per hour. Thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. <laughs> Sorry, I just broke <laughs> Slow? Yeah. It's slow. <laughs> Dog, it's Dog, slow. It's pretty much 15,000 of them. Oh, man. You go, you go to the gas station? No, it's electric. It looks like a Mercedes. Yeah. It looks like a Mercedes, but it moves like a Power Wheels. Ooh. Sorry, like, I wrote that and I, I completely forgot. Like, uh, that's the truth, I, though. I would have been, been shocked. Like, oh, man. It ain't itchy. It ain't itchy. No. Oh, I'm sorry I broke down laughing like that. It's just that for three hundred thousand dollars, you you could buy a Bugatti and in, in, in the sense fly. How fast does your scooter go? About like fifteen. Okay, that's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So it's a slow speed vehicle, meaning it'll only go about twenty five miles per hour. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> I, I, I know yeah. why I got a. Because clearly we're not going fast. <laughs> we're, not, we're not going fast. It's kind of like when the Model T came out, it went like a hot 15 miles an hour or something. I can't, don't quote me on this, but like when the first car ever came out, it wasn't very fast, but people were like, whoa, this is fast. So this is the first flying car, right? And like, wow, that's kind of so fast. They're just, they're just impressed that it's in the sky. It's fully electric and it's a slow speed vehicle, meaning it would only go about 25 miles per hour. And if you need a faster route, you can fly there. Now you can put your name down on a wait list for 150 bucks or a priority spot for 1500 bucks and delivery is set to start in 2025. Well guys, there you have it. The world's first flying car is just a couple of years away. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. 
And if you like these videos, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Until next time, peace out. <laughs> like she said, at least I kept one thing low, the miles per hour. <laughs>